All right, so the goal of this video is to explain the hydrologic unit code system, which is used to effectively address watersheds across the U.S. Note that uh, this that watersheds are, are are nested, so small watersheds merge into larger ones, which merge into larger ones. So it would be nice to create some type of system that actually honors this or describes this uh, this structure, and that's part of the the use of the hydrologic unit code system. Okay, so first off, we're going to look at small watersheds. So these are hydrologic unit code 12, or HUC 12, or, or 12 digit watersheds. Um, so for example, this is the Horseshoe Run watershed. Uh, this is its HUC 12 code. And as you can see, it also occurs within larger watersheds. So this HUC 10, this HUC 8. So specifically, this is, this is the Horseshoe Run watershed, HUC 12. It's part of a larger watershed, which is the Upper Cheat River watershed, which is part of an even larger watershed, which is uh, the Cheat River, which I guess is enlisted here. So how these codes work, so let's open that back up. So how these codes work is that the, so f the f this is 12 digit, the first 10 digits of that represent the 10 digit that it's part of. So you're just removing the last two digits there. And then removing the, f the first, the last four digits, you end up with the HUC 8. So this is the HUC 8 code for the Cheat River. This is the HUC 10 code for the Upper Cheat River. And this is the HUC 12 code for the, uh, for the, for the uh, um, Horseshoe Run watershed. So again, HUC 12s are called uh, sub-watersheds. Uh, HUC 10s are called watersheds. HUC 8s are called sub-basins. And you can merge those even into larger watersheds. So um, sub-basins or HUC 8s merge into HUC 4s, or sorry, HUC 6s, which are basins, which merge into HUC 4s, which are sub-regions, which merge into HUC 2s, which are regions. An example of a 2 would be like the, the entire drainage for the Ohio Valley. So let's look at this nesting with this specific data set. So again, these are the HUC 12 boundaries, and they merge into um, HUC 10s. So this represents the HUC 10 boundaries. So this is the larger watershed, the upper cheat, which the, uh, which the horseshoe run is part of. And then again, the HUC, uh, HUC 10s merge into even larger watersheds, which we call HUC 8s, and those are your sub-basins. So here are all the Huck 8s that intersect the state of West Virginia. So for example, this is the Cheat River from which the Horseshoe Run is part of. This is the Tigard Valley, the West Fork, the Elk, the Gauley, the Little Kanawha, so on and so forth. So you can see this is a nested system that allows you to describe the structure of watersheds throughout the country and provide a unique address or location for, for each watershed. Again, this is, um, a commonly used system, and if you ever work in the environmental, regulatory, or hydrologic uh, a career field, more than likely you're going to run into this system. So I hope you found this useful for understanding how to interpret these watershed codes.